Alrighty guys, I'm going to walk you through what we've been doing today. Uh, it's been a very windy day, so I didn't uh, break out the camera to film the individual bits of what I was doing. Um, it's kind of boring stuff anyway until you see the end result. So let's jump straight in. So, my plan had been that I was going to fit the hydraulic handbrake and do all of the uh, plumbing today. But... As I actually got to look at it, I realized that I was going to have to do a few things uh, first before I could fit the hydraulic handbrake. And the first one will be to get the driver's seat mounted in the position uh, that I want to be in when I'm driving. So, made up some rails and uh, just basic metal work. I didn't bother filming it. Um, had to cut up the rails on the bucket seat here uh, quite a bit and uh, I just got it tack welded in here I haven't welded the thing in fully as yet uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure I'm gonna stick with these seats so uh, once I had the seat in and it's in there pretty well now um, once I had the seat in I could go ahead and uh, locate the hydraulic handbrake and get that guy uh, bolted in. So this is me in the seat now. Uh, obviously I have to turn the steering wheel and put a BMW badge in there. So this is me in the seat. Um, I don't know how this is going to turn out but it's pretty good. It's the position is where I want to be. Um, it's fairly solid, uh, it probably, I've got enough clearance here, I'm pretty good with it actually. So, hydraulic handbrake, eBay special, uh, it's about 25 euros or something like that. Um, so I've, ha I've, I've had it a, wh a while now, so I figured it was about time to get the thing bolted in. Now the way the handbrake was supplied, this lever, was in the opposite position. So it was more like a normal uh, cable handbrake that you just pull up on. So what I did was I took this bolt out here and I flipped the lever around so that it's actually vertical now. And this locking mechanism still works fine so you can lock the rear brakes on. But it means that you've got kind of a more uh, usable kind of a vertical uh, lever here that you can pull on um, so it's just basically bolted in uh, here onto the tunnel had to take out an old bracket here and then drill four holes and there's four uh, good quality m6 bolts uh, bolting that guy in it's extremely solid um and put these big washers on both sides also to give it a good grip on the um on the sheet metal here so that guy's in um it actually looks pretty good the position is good uh, so i've got the seat in i've got this guy in so the next thing we got to look at then is the line lock valve and this is my line lock valve um i basically uh picked this guy up on ebay of course also now just taking the handle off here because uh, what i had to do was i had to make a little bracket and i you can probably see there that i've just welded the uh, steel body of the valve onto a steel plate here uh, just to make a bracket so that i can actually mount it in the car um so I've just been painting that black, of course. So I'm going to hit it with another little bit now. Just give it another coat. And we'll let that dry. That should pretty much do a stand. Right, okay, so that is going to be our line lock valve. So once that uh, paint dries, I'm going to go ahead and mount it in the car 
and we'll talk about how we're going to be doing the plumbing. Alrighty, this is our line lock valve mounted. Um, so it's all painted up, the paint's still a little bit wet. And I've just used two 6mm um, screws here just to secure it to two existing uh, mounting bolts on the, um, on the uh, chassis of the car. So now when the handle is in this position, the valve is turned off. When the handle is in that position, uh, the valve is turned on. So you might be saying, what are we going to do with that valve? Well, that valve is going to be connected uh, to the rear brakes. And we'll go, we'll go through all this um, in the next episode when we're plumbing up the braking system. But the brake fluid from the rear uh, segment of the master cylinder is going to come out. It's going to hit that line lock valve first. Going to come out of the line lock valve into the hydraulic handbrake. Out of the hydraulic handbrake into a two to one splitter to go to the two rear uh, brake calipers. Now, the front brakes then will be very, very simple. Uh, the fluid will come from the master cylinder to a two to one splitter and straight to the two uh, front braking calipers. Now, why do we have the line lock here? Well, the idea is, and I'm not even sure if this is gonna work, uh, but what I wanna be able to do is uh, when I have the valve turned on, um, I have normal four-wheel braking function. And when I turn the valve off, that's going to disconnect the foot brake uh, from the rear brake so that the foot brake here will work only on the front brake. So, um, idea is I can hold the car on the foot brake and I have to put a throttle pedal in here but then basically um, basically basically burn the back tires off it so hopefully that works out for us um, but it's a nice setup here now the valve is in um, the hydraulic handbrake is in so I'm kind of ready to start plumbing the thing up now uh, so we'll see how all that works out next time. So, okay folks, uh, thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Um, and I will leave you with this thought of the day. Clearly, I'm a kind of a person that has too much disposable income. And I, a very distinct need to feel good about my, myself. See you next time, folks.